Now, I still remember the first time I spotted him standing outside the Civic Center about a head and a half above a group of fans, a big shitty and grin on him, with, which is perfect because he's also built like a brick shit house and he's the type of guy that could sell a car to a horse, you know? Uh, so I saw him doing his thing and it seemed like star power beaming out of the kid, you know? Uh, he was built like a god and he seemed like he appealed to people that way. He had something to him in his presence. So uh, Teddy had been trying to talk me into taking him under my wing, maybe putting him in a tag with a vet to to put some shine on him because he was still as green as goose shit. And uh, <clears throat> I was happy to do it, you know. He, he had everything. He really just checked every single box. So I... I brought him into my office to talk to him, and, and I, I put him together with the old iron knuckle, uh, figured he was on his last leg and would like a few last paydays, and it really did on paper seem like the perfect combination. And so I had him set up for that very same civic center. I was going to do the vet and the young guy pairing. It was going to be his moment, but I think that was the first in a long line of getting light in his eyes. You know, a lot of guys, they're called gym monsters because you really see that in them. And he was the epitome of that. It was as if the, the light flipped on in the Civic Center and he could never get the blindness out of him. 